I'm Manny Fitzsimmons. I'm your Washington Realtors Legal Hotline lawyer, and this is another episode in our series entitled, There's a Form for That. And I am once again joined by my friend Camden Schutte, who is? Camden Schutte, designated broker for Cobalt Banker 360 team and 360 property management on Whidbey and Fidalgo Islands. And today we're talking about closing dates. And I don't want to say any more than that because we're going to run a little test here for Camden. All right, here's a quiz, Camden. I'm the buyer broker. My, our closing date is set for Monday. Um, pick a date, I don't care what it is. Let's say Monday is June 15th, okay? okay? And my lender has already said that funds won't be available until June 17th, Wednesday. Okay. Is there a form for that? You bet. Now both parties have to agree, but the 22Y, you can modify your closing date, simply changes the, everyone agrees, we're changing the closing date to the 17th. So form 22Y as in yes, yeah. right? 22Y, right. modification of closing date. All right, so if everybody agrees to extend the closing date, form 22Y, you can go actually backwards or forwards with a 22Y, you're yep. just modifying the closing date, not extending necessarily, you can extend, you can also shorten it if that's what, what the situation calls for. And you use that instead of writing on or before. Exactly, that, that's a different topic altogether. You've done some videos on it, you There's can go check it out. On that. Um, okay, let's change the scenario a little bit. Actually, I think you were gonna tell me that you had this, you, you, now you give me the fact. Pat. Yeah, this is actually how I found the form. Um, so and, I, and so let's go, Wendell, we're talking, about, we're, go, we're gonna now create a fact pattern around 22Y recording. It's a yeah. separate form, it's a different form. We have 22Y, which Camden just talked about. Now he's gonna give you a scenario for when you might need to use 22Y, as in yes, dash, recording. Yep. And okay. so what it does is it changes the definition of closing. In the purchase and sale agreement, there's a definition of closing. And part of that is that it's recorded with your county. Um, a 20, so the scenario that actually led me to finding the form was the power was out. Um, I was visiting another office. The power was out. The, so the county offices were closed. Everyone had, buyer and seller had already signed. Funding was already available. Um, they simply couldn't record the sale with the county because the offices were closed due to the power being out. But they needed the transaction to close because the buyer needed in, the seller was already out. Everyone agreed that this should close. We don't want to do a, a rent back or an early occupancy, so what do we do? And that's where the 22Y recording came in uh, handy for them, was it changes the definition so that as long as funding is available, all of the other criteria are met, except for being recorded, the transaction is considered closed. And then therefore the buyer has occupancy as of 9 p.m. Okay, because Camden's right, under the Form 21, the definition of closing is that all, uh, that the deed is recorded and the funds are available to the seller. So if you find yourself in a scenario, and this happens from time to time, it happened more often during COVID when staffing was so limited and there were all kinds of furloughs happening at the same time. Yeah. And it wasn't at all uncommon for parties to want to close on a specific day and the, and the recording office says, we can't handle it. There's usually too much volume or not enough people or, or both. And so recordings weren't happening timely. And so transactions weren't closing. Buyers were waiting to move in, being told they couldn't move in because the transaction hadn't technically closed. And even worse yet, maybe the closing date passes because everybody was expecting to close today and now we can't record until the next business day. Now the transaction's expired. And so 22Y dash recording was created to resolve this issue. But I will tell you 22Y recording is not without risk. Absolutely. There's a reason that the definition of closing is not only funding but also recording because until the transaction is recorded, the, the world is not on notice recording the deed puts the world on notice that the buyer is now the owner of the property and the seller is not. Why is that significant? Well, let's say a contractor lien is filed and attaches to the seller's property between the time that seller gets their funds and the deed is recorded. That lien is at least arguably going to be effective against buyer's title. 
Now, title insurance will come into play here, and the title insurance companies have a role in 22Y recording. There are also um, homeowner insurance risks. The lawyers who draft the forms for the statewide forms system believe that the risks are manageable enough to allow this scenario to happen in the circumstances like the one that Camden described where buyer is desperate to get in and the parties can't wait. If you can wait, if the parties can wait until the recording office is open so that the transaction can actually be recorded and everybody agrees to extend the closing date to that point in time, that's the better approach, would Absol you agree? Absolutely, and you're not gonna wanna do a 22Y recording and have expect to have it recorded a week later. Like this, oh, no. this is, you know, like the scenario I gave, it's a special case uh, where it might be a day or so, one business day. And it's definitely, like you said, not without risk. But in the situation where needed, don't write a Form 34 to try to write the language. There's a form for that. <laughs> Boy, are you right about that. Do not use a Form 34. No. Don't use a 22Y. No. Use a 22Y recording. If the reason that you're having to extend the closing date or modify, I'm sorry, if the reason you're having to modify the closing date is because everything is ready to go except the county can't record the deed. If yeah. that's the only problem, use 22Y recording. Absolutely, and I agree. If you can wait, wait. Yeah. If you have questions on this topic or any other, please visit warealtor.org, follow the links to the legal hotline, and ask me a question. Thank you for being a Washington Realtors member.